complexity nowadays, uh, scientific <laughs> and uh, also from the point of view like technical, but also it's a huge fun like uh, make create food and uh, uh, create tasty food. And let's uh, let's keep how, how we do it. Before that, like a couple of words about me. I'm R&D director at uh, X5. X5 is retail chain. It's uh, just like Perikotka and Petrochka brands, which you know. And I was R&D director before at Dodo Pizza, and I worked in PepsiCo and Mars and in a lot of companies. And um, uh, what does R&D mean? Just like a couple of words. It uh, translates like uh, research and development. When you first research, you ask people in different ways what do they like, what do they want analyze trends and so on, and then uh, you like develop, develop is uh, creating literally. First you creating prototypes by hand, then you like uh, feed the prototypes to people, collect feedback and so on, but we will talk, talk later about it. So, uh, maybe the presentation is not ideal, but we will send it uh, to you additionally, so you will be able to also watch it. Uh, humanity, like uh, we are the only species on Earth who uh, learn how to cook food. Like all animals, they eat food raw, and uh, it means they need to process it very long time. So they spend a lot of time on like processing the food, on digesting it. Uh, we as a human, we invented that we can cook food, uh, and uh, thus making it more like simple to digest. It takes us le less time, and actually there are like science, uh, science people uh, who, uh, who believe that it led us to uh, developing our brain. It made our brain more efficient, and uh, uh, thus, like by uh, learning how to cook food, we started, uh, like we developed our abstract, uh, uh, abstract mind, and uh, a lot of like brain, like brain functions. So it's kind of cool that first person who decided to, I don't know, uh, throw like meat to fire, like uh, let it all led to uh, developing huge complexity and uh, to developing our brain. So. By now, we, like people, we can eat more or less 800,000 um, ingredients. We can like add to food like more or less this uh, amount of ingredients. Spices, like vegetables, fish, meat, all the ingredients you know. So it's huge complexity, isn't it, right? You know, you need to know how to mix it, how it uh, interacts and so on. So uh, thus, out of this, uh, in modern world, we have this like uh, profession of mine, which is R&D, which means like such like researching and uh, creating food, and also keeping in mind all the nutrition facts and all the physics, biology, chemistry, and all this uh, science behind it. So, uh, uh, what I did, for example, in Dota Pizza, like we we more or less know this company, right? Last year I worked there. We changed 50 50 percent of menu totally. And uh, we all remember it was Corona crisis, so we did it online, which was quite complicated. We researched online. I will tell you later about it. And uh, not great presentation. We launched more than 100 products around the world. And for example, we were like uh, preparing dough, and not many people could be appearing in our kitchen. We had kitchen laboratory, and uh, some of them were like, you know, preparing dough through the screen, like seeing somebody was doing it. So it was fun developing all that. And we did a lot of new pizza, which we could like probably see there. And all that made through research with people. And uh, the last one, one was collab with um, uh, Cyberpunk. We did a cool pizza and uh, there was a sauce with uh, Coca-Cola. So how, like briefly, how do we do it? As I told you, first we do interviews with clients, with people like you, for example, and we ask them more or less what they want. It's profound interviews. Out of profound interviews, we gather some like trends and ideas, deep insights of the people. Then we uh, create on the basis uh, of these insights, we create a lot of concepts, first online. What is concept? It looks like this, that. It's a picture of pizza, for example, right? And we uh, just show name ingredients to people. We can show like 100 at a time. And we test which pizzas, like which products are like gain more um, um, preferences. And then by that, because people first buy food like uh, not tasting it, they buy it through visual like idea of what they see or what they think it is. So first we test and we understand, okay, people in general like concept of pesto, they like concept of, I don't know, carbonara, whatever. 
Then we will create prototypes, as I told you, literally like uh, baking pizzas and feeding them to people, analyzing them, all the chemical and uh, par parameters doing stuff. Uh, back then, uh, we were like also last you know, session with people, and uh, was so. I took Dota Pizza because I worked there, but also because uh, it's uh, a case of a digital company, which was digital from the very beginning. It started 10 years ago in a very small city of Russia, which is called Sikhtakar, and you see this street here. It looks not very like modern, technically, I don't know who. And uh, 10 years ago, the founder went to, to work to McDonald's, like copied a lot of things, and launched his first pizzeria, this is a dark kitchen, uh, like uh, no restaurant. At first it was only delivery because he had no money to launch uh, the restaurant, so it was only delivery at first. Now it's a huge company which operates in like uh, 13 countries. It has more than uh, 750 pizzerias uh, in 260 cities of Russia. It is the fastest growing restaurant chain in the world now. And it has a lot of innovations for technical competition, for technical uh, innovation. So, what is the secret behind, like, behind it? Of course, it's only not pizza, not only pizza, but uh, the founder says that, like, like McDonald's, one day, like, uh, combined food and conveyor, and created more like a perfect operational system. The other combined uh, from the very beginning pizza, food, and uh, IT. So that was the secret. Um, Dodo was uh, created in April 2011, and already in June, like a couple of months after that, in, two, in uh, June 2011, Dodo already had like uh, two IT people, two developers, who were designing the system, the uh, IT and how it will be. Now Dota has a lot of, uh, I will not be like going through this uh, complexity in numbers, but it has a lot of engineers, more than 120 IT people work inside the company. All programs and all the platforms inside the company, application and so on, written, developed, created by people inside. So uh, it has like all the information is in the cloud. So what does it mean for us, right? It's in real time. Anytime we want to see like how Dora is doing in Nigeria. It's open and we can open pizzeria and uh, watch uh, p and uh, like finance of the company and how many pizzas sold and which pizza is the most favorite in Nigeria and so on. We can uh, check like how many, uh, I don't know how many working hours uh, some like friend of ours works at pizzeria in St. Petersburg. So all of that complexity about suppliers, about Careers about about money, payments, finance, pizzas, tracking inside the city. It's all online. It's all online and in real time. So it's a huge complexity, and this picture more or less means that. So whichever part of Dota you take, it's all uh, uh, automation and it's all digital. So which also means when, for example, people like me create pizza, it first appears in IT systems and in pizzeria. Just an example, a couple of years ago, we created a pizza out of two halves, right? Uh, you can choose like one half for like, uh, I don't know, your mom or like for like your dad and the other for mom, and you can combine. Seems quite easy, but uh, taking the complexity and difficulties in IT system is actually very complicated. But then you need to go to IT people and design how it will be on tracking, how like uh, ingredients uh, will go uh, for, uh, for tracking and so on. So all, uh, just what, what I wanted to say is that all decisions you make in digital company, you first design, think how you will design them in IT system. So to do that, it's very huge work and uh, it requires some leadership and knowledge. Actually, it's very strong um, uh, idea in Dota that everybody is owner of their product. I think you can also apply it to yourself. So what is like actually product? What is the own product? You have some value. In uh, Dora is, uh, for example, value of uh, feeding our customers, uh, giving them tasty food, right, right at the price they want to, right in time if, the, if this is delivery, delivered before the night. And everybody has some product, some like project they work on, let's say it like that. And this project, of course, has some metrics. So you follow, you need to know, 
I want to make this idea and it should be successful. How do I measure success, right? I develop some metrics for that. And it has you as a product owner, so you feel responsible. You know that you are the person who, uh, who is responsible for this project and it has some team helping you. So, and I see shadows like copies of the structure of the business. So whatever there is a, like in the real world, it is the same in IT. Also, one important thing about Dota is the culture of small and fast experiments. Dota innovates all the time. So when it was Corona crisis, we saw what we can sell online. In one day, we launched like coffee online. We were the first time in the country, country to launch coffee delivery online. And everybody was laughing at it because like waiting for coffee 30 minutes, it's like strange, like who would do that? But it worked well, it worked like fantastically well. There are a lot of people who don't have coffee machines at home and we like uh, gained a lot of sales and a lot of happy customers. And Dota like creates, you can come anytime and say, let's launch pizza with, I don't know, uh, whatever, like whatever ingredient you invent, right? And all the people will help you to launch it and you will fast like measure how it works. And out of that, you will either correct it or you will say, well, not ideal experience, experiment, or you will leave it if it's successful. And also, on the, the, third, uh, the third point of a very strong, like, you know, um, performance of Dota Pizza is uh, like culture of openness. And it's actually radical openness. What does it mean? You can come to Dota office anytime. I literally say that and say, I want an excursion. I want like, please show me the office. They will do it. You can, uh, all the uh, managers of the company, they present and present online their results. All the pizzerias publish their like p and and their finances online in real time. So anytime you can go and see this pizzeria makes that amount of money, that pizzeria makes that amount of money. You can work like, uh, you can see open backlog. It means everybody knows what everybody is doing. So all your working like progress and tasks, they are online. So actually, Dot is open really in every way. And it's a great culture and uh, it helps innovate because you are very like, it also gives you responsibility, right? Because you know, anytime people can uh, watch what you are doing and uh, like give you feedback. So it creates a, a strong responsibility and strong results. Of course, if you innovate very fast, if you create, if you grow very fast, and it, I remind you, it's the fastest growing restaurant chain in the world, right? Uh, you have a lot of fails and mistakes, and it's totally okay. Like, it also a culture of accepting these mistakes, making conclusions out of them, but still. For example, once Dota launched TV campaign and said, like, download mobile application and uh, get pizza for free. And there were so many people downloading this application that, like, the system failed. It was a lot of unhappy customers. It was all pizzerias in the world didn't work for three hours, which is huge loss and huge hit to reputation. Well, Dot after that took some measures, but they talk about it openly, to, uh, rem uh, remembering that it's an open company, right? And uh, also they started like testing before like campaigns and so on, but there are a lot of fails and there are mistakes, it's okay. But also you, can, you, sh you should like make some so getting back to food, right? It was about Dota, digital, so on. I worked in food. I work in food business, and I need to research, as I told you. But on, uh, it was not possible to do it offline. Usually, you prepare samples, you give them to people, you ask their opinion, they fill questionnaire, you collect all the data, and you understand is, if it's tasty or not. What, how you should improve the product, how you should like prepare it. But it was not possible last year. So what we did, we in built, we put this questionnaire, which we would usually offer for people to fill, uh, inside the application, mobile application, how it works. You receive pizza and you receive push notification, like, could you please like evaluate tastes? Could you please help us with the taste? And you quickly like answer to seven questions. It takes you only 20 seconds, 20 seconds to do it. But then, I don't know if it will be working now, I don't think so. Uh, but then we collected uh, the whole like 400,000 questionnaires all around the country, and we understood a lot of things based on this data. For example, we understood Dota has Coca-Cola in its profile, like in its bottle, right? The classic Coca-Cola. And we understood that Coca-Cola feels more tastier in the uh, north region of Russia, in Siberia, than uh, in uh, Moscow, for example. 
and that the same pizza can be more tasty in Vladivostok than in, uh, I don't know, whichever city of Russia. And we also understood a lot of things like basing on mass, that if we deliver hot pizza, the point, the rating of the pizza uh, is very high. If it's cold, well, it's not high. And we tested all the products online, and, uh, and as I told you, we were able to relaunch more than 50% of menu and make it more tastier for like people, and um, um, it was great achievement actually. And if we do, I worked at PepsiCo before, PepsiCo does the same, but offline. We create new drink, we create new Lipton iced tea, right? And we collect 200 people, we give them prototype, we fill questionnaires, and we uh, think it's enough, like 200 or 300 people to understand about the taste. So, and then uh, PepsiCo nation, nationwide uh, launches a new drink based on opinions of 200 or 300 people. And we in Doha, we were able to collect 400,000 questionnaires. So it's like huge data, and it's really like makes you understand what people want, what they find tasty, and what is good for them. And we calculated it's like saved us around seven, 775 million rubles because each test would cost around 1 million if we do it online. And um, we did it, uh, if we do it offline, and we did it online for free through our application. So we used to talk with the daughters that we are not only tasty pizza, but also mathematically tasty pizza. And it, uh, uh, it is what we mean nowadays, that usually you need to, um, usually you need to add some tool to your profession, like my profession, which is not connected anyhow to IT. But the modern world requires you to uh, innovate, be flexible, and to add like uh, IT tools to whatever you do, even if you think you are not connected to IT. Well, I moved to Pitorechka now, I moved to X5, right? And uh, we are now doing the same. Pitorechka has mobile application, 10 million people in Russia use only mo mobile application. Uh, 80 million in the country, they visit Pitorechka. It means like two thirds more or less of the country go to Pitorechka, uh, I don't know, each week, right? So it's a huge amount of pe people which can give you feedback and share what is important, what is tasty, what is good for them, right? And based on this feedback, you could create better products. So in Pitorechka, we're launching the same idea of uh, research online, but for all the products. You buy Danone yogurt, you buy, I don't know, PepsiCo drink, whatever. Uh, you have push notification, it, it asks you to help with the taste, and basing on that, we give it to our cust um, suppliers, sorry, basing on that, the food gets better, it gets tastier, using like IT and big data. Uh, I think it will be uh, not working a deal now, but we will see it later. So, well, this is more or less it. We have some uh, time for questions if you have. Uh, the main idea of this like small presentation was uh, to show you that food is like great uh, area to work. It's fun, it's tasty, it's cool, but at the same time, it was very traditionally um, traditional field, which was not like changing. And now it has a lot of IT innovations and a lot of things uh, going into it. So, find your balance, uh, innovate, create a lot of changes in your like school work, in your life. And uh, changes, they usually mean pain. It's painful to change all the time. Uh, I work with innovations, I know that, but it also gives you a lot of pleasure to like create and see new things and experiences. And the second very important thing which I wanted to share probably, uh, that IT is not part of the business. Actually, IT <coughs> nowadays is the business. So amount of data you collect, amount of information you have, is actually uh, becoming your business now, whether it's good or not. Thank you. And if you have questions. <laughs> When you were working at Dodo and you were giving all this feedback, yeah. how do you then take that feedback from the customers to develop the pizza? Do you try it out in certain locations and then retest that area to see if they like the improvements? So how does that feedback get applied in real life? That's a great question. 
uh, I didn't have enough time, so I cut it. But um, yeah, you uh, develop. Uh, for example, we launched last year Carbonara, pizza Carbonara. Uh, for the first week, we got a lot of data and we understood that uh, out of seven points, our uh, rating for the pizza is six, which is low. And we, uh, having all this data, we saw immediately that the problem is that with the amount of topping. So amount of topping, r red flags here in the IT system already, how we designed it. We just literally, in online, we increased some bacon, like uh, uh, put more bacon to pizza. And next week, uh, we see uh, in, the, in all the pizzerias that the tasting rate came better and the zone of toppings improved. But it, it is existing pizza. And if it's new, we create pizza, we send your right to 10 locations measure data from this 10 location. If it's good, we uh, distribute it to all pizzerias. If it's not, we correct, measure, correct, measure, and so on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, last second. So if no question, um, you have my, my email there. Any questions? I don't know. In two years now, you will have about the food, IT business, research, whatever. Um, feel free to write me. I will be very happy. Thank you for your time today. Thank, Thank you. you. Ребят, спасибо большое, что пришли. Давайте я чуть расскажу. Это выступление было в рамках образовательной программы Фудсовет. Некоторые из вас уже ходят по четвергам, по-моему, на занятия Фудсовет. Соответственно, у нас еще будут продолжаться примерно такие же выступления.